Is that bad? What is happening? Can we just... Can I recalibrate for a second? I'm, I'm, what is going on? I don't know. Hello, welcome back to Booking Gaming. Hello! I'm Travis. I'm Eric. And it's Otaku Tuesday yet again. Yeah. Just fasten your seatbelts <laughs> and get comfy because... You know, these episodes are pretty long now. They are. <laughs> Not as long as a Marvel movie, but longer than an independent movie. <laughs> yeah, longer than The Return of Jafar. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, I guess I was going to say that's direct to DVD or VHS, yeah. but I guess it wasn't, was it? The second one did come to theaters. No, the third, the one, third one came to theater. It was, it's the oh, opposite. Really? Yeah, the King of Thieves is the one that went to theaters. Oh, because the second one didn't have Robin Williams in it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's another right. one of those movies that, I feel like this is a recurring thing for my childhood, mm -hmm. but I saw that one more than the original. I actually loved that movie. I, well, I loved all three of the Aladdins. I don't remember it as well, just because now I've seen Aladdin, the original way more. I've never seen the third one at all. I'm going to go out on a limb and say Jafar comes back. Probably. Yeah, but it was like 62 minutes or something. Yeah. It was oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, most, like even, like I think The Lion King is only like 92 minutes or something yeah, like that. Probably. And that's counting credits, so... I mean, I don't, I don't know. It, I just know kids' movies are pretty short. Mario movies probably not two hours. I don't know. Hour forty-five. I could go grab it. <laughs> yeah, I don't really care. Okay, <laughs> I still haven't seen it. Let's move on with our game. Oh right, we're playing a game. I wonder why these episodes go so long. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, about the same amount of gameplay. We just talk for fifty minutes. Right. Of course. So we uh, we're actually in the Agir route now. Yeah, as well, far as we're I, aware. I think. I, yeah. Or at least that's what we're doing. Hopefully. But everything's fixed. Yeah. Everything's okay. Amine's our advisor. Yes. She's she's hanging out. The twins are here. Yes. Do we have the lab? I don't know. I don't remember exactly where we left off because we I recorded so many episodes last time and we haven't uploaded them all yet. Right. Because of this recording. Yeah, so. it's like, oh great, we're ahead now. Wait, what happened? Oh, we can't check. No. Because we haven't done but anything with them. Whatever. Eh, we'll figure it out. It'll... This game reiterates everything 500 times, so That's we'll, why. we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me get let me get in the zone here. Mm -hmm. Don't know if we've read this or not, but we're know. waiting for Agia to come. As always, I waited for Agia to come. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> God, it took her a while to come. Morning. Yo. Something about Agia's, or I mean, Coterie's wheelchair. Yeah, we were, we're, we're with Coterie at... Whatever they read it, huh? Uh, oh, no. <gasps> oh, it's Hamtaru. Everything's great again. Hey, um, good morning. Oh, Hitaru, it's rare to see you in the morning. <laughs> you go with Hitaru today. <laughs> I have to go a bit earlier. <gasps> uh, could it be that? Oh, she's already gone. Now I have to British voice for <laughs> Yes. Uh, um, am I a bother? No, you're not a spot of bother at all. Oh, no, it's just, uh... Are you I, Are you mocking me? Did Ikea I, mention anything? You sounded Australian there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do a British accent. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I uh, out with you. Did Ikea mention, like, my tiny penis or anything? <laughs> oh, at length. <laughs> Ironically. Not much length. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Chan, she just said I should go to school with you, that's all. I thought you were saying on, Chan. I was getting excited for a second. I see. Would have been nice if she at least explained why. Anyway, we were running late, so I was explaining while we were walking and had toast in our mouths. Digging for dirt. She's a dirt digger. I know. Agia sent her to get info. Uh-huh. Did you hear about the revival of the Soaring Club? Oh, God. It's like three days and they just came back. <laughs> yes. It's back, but I, since Tapioca yes. Sensei is keeping an eye on us, we're trying to be inconspicuous. That's why I'm wearing this giant trench coat. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing this shirt that says Return of the Soaring Club. <laughs> Return of the Club. Agia probably thinks that it's not a good idea to have the members gather and go to school together, brimming with enthusiasm. So be sad. Yeah, that's why I'm all bummed out and wearing this tr cool trench coat. Yeah, I'm not naked under here, I swear. I, I, I see you. Hey, Chen, she's smart. Oh, you, oh, she sent you to talk her up. That's what that's what you're doing. Mm. I'm not sh so sure about that. Am I annoying you? N no, I like you. No, not at all. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> oh, 
Ara, Ara. <laughs> <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> oh, I got to I got to say it differently. Here we go. <clears throat> That's what it would be in Japanese. Oh yeah. my. Ara, Ara. Is it? Is that what Ara, Ara means? Because I had no idea. Yeah, pretty. I mean that. Yeah. Oh. What? <laughs> well, what should I say? You've got a ticklish atmosphere there. He <laughs> tickle. Oh my God, my atmosphere. My it's ticklish. It's sensitive. If you say it like that, I'll tickle you for real. I would totally hate that. And not the legs. If you do that, there will be a punishment. Is it? Is oh it, no, is I would it, totally hate that. Is it kisses? <laughs> uh, well, even though they don't well, know what it means. What? Oh, are you, you're going to tie him up and tickle his feet until he pees himself? Oh no. Hitaru, please report <laughs> to the staff room later. And by that, I mean my penis. Uh oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Disgusting. That's in the past. The past, you hear me? It was back when I was still in grade school for crying out loud. Also, when did you get here? Also, who tied up a grade schooler and tickled them till they peed? <laughs> I hope it wasn't an adult. And besides, I was the one doing it. The peeing? Yeah. To an adult. <laughs> How do you call someone here lower than the lowest? How do you call it? I guess with a phone? I don't... <laughs> a brute. <laughs> An extreme brute. Are you taking advantage of the situation to ridicule me? <laughs> you step to me? <laughs> <laughs> it's fun going to school with you, our me. Where exactly was the fun part in that conversation? Buh. I'm a pout now. Mm, Good. I'm gonna do it. Freaking tapioca will believe that it's all ruined. Grr! <laughs> tapioca Whoa. was standing by the school gate. When he recognized us, he looked, his look obviously turned sour. I am here to confess to you. <laughs> He's super nervous about his West Wing audition. <laughs> he looks like that dude! <laughs> or uh, what's something you would know him from? Uh, Billy Madison. Okay. Yeah, sure. You, 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 have you seen Billy Madison? Yeah. <laughs> the, the guy who he's up against, the Weasley guy with the hair. Oh, my God. I'm, hang on. Just a second. Shooter McGavin? No, that's, that's, did I say Happy Gilmore? Yeah. Billy Madison. Oh, no, no, you did say Billy Madison. Yeah. I just thought of Happy Gilmore. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm looking him up. I'm going to look up his name okay. so y'all can look him up. Tapioca. The fuck's his name? What's More his name? work for Bradley our, Whitford. More work for our editor. Oh, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Bradley Whitford. He does look like him. He's from the West Wing, and he's, okay. he's in a bunch of stuff. I think he's in... Robocop? Maybe Robo it's Robocop 2, I think. But that's him. That's who I picture. Okay. So that, I'm ruining this character for everyone. However, did I already read this? I don't know. When he realized no. that the Kazato <laughs> sisters were walking a bit apart from each other and the wheelchair bound Katori wasn't with Agia, he seemed a bit confused. <gasps> Wait, there's two of them? Mission accomplished. Bleh. 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 Cut it out. Master. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Well. Who was he? Was I think it was you. Was he? What, what sure voice did I have him? him? I don't know. Just like a gruff fucking douche. Uh, morning. There you go. Perfect. I don't, I don't think that was it. Fucking nailed it. I remember boring teacher, but that was just teacher. Yeah. Ben that Stein. That was Ben Stein. <laughs> I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you voiced him. At any rate, he couldn't bluntly show his hostility when we were together with Hotaru. I hate it when they're with Hotaru. Yeah, she's my one weakness. I guess this means that Agia's plan is working. I mean, you can't. You, you guys can't be friends if you're not in the club. No, God no. <laughs> um, I'll see you after school, senpai. See you at the club. Yeah. Uh, 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 well, well then, Aoni's Kotori-san. I'll see you later. Sure. Thanks for today. Mm. Taru smiled happily and went upstairs. She's pretty cute. Now that I take a better look at her. Uh, from this angle. From this angle. Blow. Right. You two hardly had any direct <laughs> confrontations at all. Hmm, would you not talk to me like I'm some sort of challenger? What is that, a challenge? <laughs> Pardon me, princess. Did well, you just, excuse did you just, me. <laughs> did you just do the thing? I, did, I hate that show. <laughs> Everybody does. I told you I don't want to watch it with you anymore. You're annoying. Well, there hasn't been much contact, that's all. Isn't she your old friend like Agia or Tasuki-kun? Who? You know, Tasuki kun Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. But she's younger, so rather than playing with her, it's more like she just followed us around. 
She had a giant snot bubble hanging out of her nose at all times. I see, so that's why. She's like um, that kid from Wind Waker. <laughs> exactly, that's the one I was picturing. <laughs> what do you mean? The way she looks at you is how a young bird looks at its parent. Well, that's not what I want. Oh, well, you may be right about that. Which reminds me, back then, Hataru followed me around more than she did her sister. <laughs> In your fucking face. Sometimes birds have sex with their parents. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine birds look at their lineage before they bang. I guess she got attached to me somehow, although I can't say for sure. <laughs> Hold on, I need to check ancest birdancestry.com. <laughs> 23 and tweet. <laughs> By the way, I wonder why Agia went ahead of us today. Now that you mention it, she never told us. Like long flights by the beach and chopped up worms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flying south year. this winter. <laughs> Till last year, she would head to the garage early in the morning as if she was in a sports club having morning practice. But because our new secret base was on the other side of the lake, there's no that's no longer possible. That's also bound to become a problem. Because kids never hang out after school. Uh... What is this? Both my desk and Katori's had envelopes in them. <gasps> Mission! Oh, we get cherries. <laughs> Mission? <laughs> Mission, collect the following parts however you are to find them together with Atari. Damn it, we lost her. <laughs> also... Oh, wait. Also, in the corner, there was a strange symbol that looked like an eight, or rather an infinity symbol that appeared to have antennas attached to it. Oh. <gasps> She's an alien! Um, was this supposed to be a swallowtail butterfly? That would have been my guess. Of course. I mean, who doesn't know a swallowtail butterfly just by looking at a drawing? Or just a butterfly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the different types of butterfly. I know monarch. Yeah. And that's it. Common. All right, Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> a feeling of fatigue fell over me. Kite wing or something? I don't, yeah, my, dude, I don't know. My letter was normal. Do your best with... Building the airframe. Oh, it sounds like she likes you. I most likely won't be able to show up at the club activities too often for a while. I hope you'll give me permission, President. Oh. But British. <laughs> uh, what's all this about? This is a classroom. I saw no sign of a gear in the classroom. Just as I thought that, she appeared! <gasps> Damn, do I have powers? Are you Beetlejuice? Did you say my name three times? <laughs> Oh, I see. So it's like that, is it? Yeah, it's like that. She's <laughs> with a girl I've never seen before. Oh, no. They were standing near the entrance and talking. Where's her route? Right? <laughs> don't even see she hasn't even said anything. We don't, we don't have to see them for, the, for us to be like, oh, route. <laughs> who's that? I don't know, but oh, who's that? No idea. <laughs> she goes to the same school, so I've seen her around before. Probably at the school. But until now, I've never seen her with a Gia. Doesn't look like she's in the robotics club either. That's just a Gia. Well then, see you at lunch. <laughs> With a smile, Gia saw the girl off and entered the classroom. Yo, did Tapioca sign anything? Uh, no. That girl just now. Who's that? Another challenger? Well, her name is Nanya. Oh, she's, Nanya. In, she's in the astronomy <laughs> club. What kind of name is Nanya? <laughs> <laughs> astronomy? So were you asking her for weather data? No. Of course I was. <laughs> but a few other things as well. You know, about stars and stuff. That's 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 not the same. That's not the thing. A few other things. You should stay away from those girls. Like what? It's a secret for now. I didn't know how it would turn out yet, after all. What? Don't beat around the bush. I shave, thank you very much. That's what? Don't worry about that. <laughs> that aside, as for this mission... So do I. It's harder for me, though. <laughs> I can't, like, you know, hike my leg up on the <laughs> edge of the <laughs> bathtub like you can. <laughs> yeah, but if she cuts herself, it's no big deal. Agia raised her <laughs> finger and waved it sideways. <laughs> we can't talk about our missions in public, dude. What movie did you hear that from? Dude, where's my car? <laughs> when you're a secret <laughs> service agent, that much is just common sense, bro. Oh, right, right. Why are you, like, purposefully distancing yourself by being all bro-hard with me? Your lack of enthusiasm is really sad, you know. Right, we chose your choices. <laughs> I find your lack of faith disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Was going to school with Hitaru meant as a countermeasure against tapioca? <laughs> nice deduction! Saves me the trouble of explaining it for you. 
Very good, Watson. <laughs> if it's my cute little sister, you're just full of references to the spitting image of me. You won't have any complaints, will ya? I can only agree with the cute part. You probably shouldn't say that out loud. That's harsh. The way you're speaking, it's really annoying. I feel like I'm not even right here. Like I didn't have a thing with you. You've seen my boobs. That's just not an insult to injury, man. Why did I get all Jamaican there at the end, man? <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. Bear, buying this and bringing it back should be fine, right? Please do, and don't forget the receipt. Agia was talking normally again. Oh. And not like a Jamaican. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Listen, man, you got to fly that thing. I can't do a Jamaican accent. <laughs> well, then school is finally over. To complete Agia's mission, I'll have to invite Hataru. I'll lower your classroom, eh? People are going to get the wrong ideas. They're all going to go, ooh. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get all embarrassed, because it's true. <laughs> I'll attract quite a bit of attention. This is going to be a little embarrassing. Oh, Oni. What's up, babe? Oh, Ataru? You know, today, A-chan. Oh, I know. You don't need to say anything more. She said I'll get escorted. Hell yeah, you will. I told you, you don't have to say that. So you're fine with escorting me? For a price. I'm the one who should be asking you. You're okay with it? Of course I am. As we were talking, several people were passing by. And they were roommates. <laughs> Oi! Minase, this time it's younger Himegi. Oh, that lucky bomb. Hey, don't say it like that. And they never spoke again. Right? Thank so God. I just did the most annoying voice I could think. Oh, but if I think about our objective, wouldn't it be better if outsiders misunderstood? We should kiss for the mission. Yeah, just, just <laughs> a little bit. Just as, just as a goof. Wouldn't it be so <laughs> funny if we, crazy. like, dated and got married? <laughs> just for the plot. Yeah, just, you know, just as a, as a lark. Well, I'll refrain from denying for now. Perhaps I made the wrong choice here. I don't really feel that way, but liar. Well, then, um... Uh, shall we go? I smiled. Hataru's really innocent. I think I like her now. <laughs> yes. And so we started walking. And walking, and then walking, and I'm walking, walking, walking. I'm walking, Why walking, walking. Why did you walking, just say that you're like walking? Like SpongeBob on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just one cycle. <laughs> With the, the uh, fingers yeah. going up and down. And Hataru is following <laughs> after me. Stepping on the beach. <laughs> Even outside, that doesn't change. Uh, you know. Yes. Shouldn't we be walking together normally? Aren't we? She lightly tilted her head to the side, looking perplexed and cute as fuck. Uh, <laughs> more like... It's not like back then. You don't have to walk behind me. But I like your ass. I really got a fart. Who? Oh, well, what? Rude. Hataru's eyes widened a little, and she let out a strange voice. Is it bad like this? No, it's not really bad, but... I feel a bit uneasy when you're walking behind me, even though it's just the two of us. Like, what, are you going to, like, stab me or hug yeah. me from behind? You're going to... Which you, one of those things are you, would you like to do? You're going to ooh-woo surprise glomp me? <laughs> <laughs> but I really like your back, Aoni. Well, um, that makes me happy, but... Your back has gotten really big. I, I've been trying to diet. Um, thanks. <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain, but I suddenly felt a wave of discomfort. It was sort of an itchy or ticklish feeling. I knew I shouldn't have worn these pants today. 100% wool? What the fuck was I thinking? My face naturally deformed and stiffened into a smile. Uh, it might be because of all that cycling. That makes your back grow big? Yeah, I have terrible posture. Maybe. Saying that, Hataru smiled. <gasps> As my heart started beating faster, I hurriedly turned forward again. Anyway, since I can't calm down, I... Uh, since, what? I'd like us to walk side by side at least when we're by ourselves. Okay. The sound of footsteps caught up to me. I walked slowly to match the delicate movements of her legs. Ugh, this is... Uh, this uh, is awakening something in me. Please, step don't, away. Don't pop a boner. <laughs> Why would you do this as soon as we get the Agia route? My wool pants are already too tight. <laughs> this is so rude. <laughs> huh? This somehow feels new. My heart's beating a little faster. Oh, God. Oh no, I feel like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Y yeah. <laughs> but it's a little scary. Scary? Not having anybody in front of me. It feels kind of strange. Are you saying you need a leash? Shouldn't you be used to that by now? I'm fine when I'm alone, but when I'm with you, 
I felt a sudden tightness in my waist area. <laughs> really? Oh, sorry, your, your pants were falling down, so I tightened your belt. <laughs> the area under my belt felt a little tight. Wow. My second belt. <laughs> <laughs> Are you wearing two belts? Yes, we're in an anime. <laughs> uh, is that bad? What is happening? Can we just... Can I recalibrate for a second? I'm, I'm, what is going on? I don't know. He's turned on by Hotaru way more than anyone he's ever dealt with. Is this like the way to get like her bad route? Agia's bad route or something? Bad ending? I don't know. Oh, God. Do we have to comfort Hotaru? Uh, I don't know if I would. Maybe I shouldn't be in control. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes that looked up at me were trembling and moist with tears. I don't think she would really start crying, but... No, it's it's fine. It's not like we don't know each other. Even if people see us, I can't treat Hataru coldly. That would be just wrong. Anyway, let's get going. If we spend the whole day just on shopping, Agia will be seriously mad that we didn't bring her with. Yeah. Each hon's like a balloon, filled to the brim with motivation. Poke her the wrong way and she might pop. That's hot. You two really are sisters. The way they express themselves is the same. Do you have to, like... Iterate that to yourself so you don't get too turned on or something? Yeah, it's just, it's the accent. It throws me off. <laughs> but now that I think about it, whenever Hataru has been around, she's always been together with Agia. And whenever Agia hasn't been around, neither has Hataru. <gasps> They're the same person. <gasps> <gasps> so I can bang her. In other words, I've never actually been completely alone with Hataru up until now. Even though it's been over a year since I came back, how could I have not realized this until now? Um, what should I say? I became strangely conscious of her. Of her. Um, stop. Uh, stop being cute. What is it? Is it unpleasant <sighs> being together with me? Fuck you. Of course <laughs> it's not like that. Well, fine, I'll leave then. <laughs> no, I meant that literally. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not as energetic as A-chan, and I'm not really good at conversation either. Yeah, but you don't talk as much, so you're way better. It's fine, you are you. I don't do silly things like A-chan, and I can't make people laugh with a weird sense of humor. You actually have a pretty dark personality, don't you? Ooh, you noticed, thank god. <laughs> Besides, I'm fine since it's you, but this is my first time walking with a boy, so I'm a little nervous. Huh, is that so? You're cute. <laughs> and the kind of girl you want to protect. I'm sure you'd have no trouble finding a boyfriend. Look at Matsutsugu. Please don't. What the, what, what, Mabu. He's so assertive. If you... No. <laughs> I don't and won't have a boyfriend. Besides, uh, because boys are scary. Because they're rude? Because they're big. My back's big, though. Well, I suppose that <laughs> yeah. compared to her, most guys would seem quite large. I'm not too big. Ask your sister. But even I was making a terrible... You saw my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I was making a terrible face and shouting like a madman when I was pedaling for my life. When cycling? Yeah, uh, when uh, cycling. At least when I was competing, when I saw a photograph of myself riding at full speed, I was shocked. It was really something. I want to see it. No. No way. <laughs> no, it's mine. <laughs> I'm keeping that hidden until the day I die. I'm going to put it on my gravestone. I want to see it. No means no. <laughs> I do remember that statement, Owie. My eyes were bloodshot. I was grinding my teeth, and the veins on my neck were popping out. I was more of a monster than a man. It's really terrifying and probably kind of hot, but whatever. I'll see for myself. I am telling you, it's scary. If it's you, it can't be scary. Don't be so sure. The guy riding next to me looked like a gorilla. <laughs> he may have actually been a gorilla. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was that's, a really weird event. That's, that's why I was screaming the whole time. I was <laughs> pedaling away from whoever trained the gorilla to ride a bike. <laughs> it was terrifying. <laughs> that's scary. Cut that pot out. I wish I could. Cut it out of my memory. <laughs> Don't be unreasonable. Don't you have Photoshop? Then show me. Yeah, but I suck at it. You're quite stubborn, aren't you? Yeah. Hataru gave a serious nod. Would you show it to your girlfriend? So it finally came, huh? Revenge for when I asked her. I don't have one. A girlfriend, that is. Oh, you are. Looks like this is her catchphrase of sorts. <laughs> it's not very... <laughs> it's just ho. Oh. Yeah. So no, you don't... Just, she just has to remember. She's like in the middle of a game of horse. And oh. She's trying to remember where she right. was. <laughs> it's the start of her name. So you don't have one? Nope, I don't. And 
You didn't have one. I, I didn't. My heart suddenly felt a little hollow. I see. So you didn't have one then, and you don't have one now either. Yeah, say it a little louder. You don't have a, a girlfriend. <laughs> this guy doesn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> what, does your penis not work? <laughs> then what about a chan uh, why are you asking about a Gia oh, now? She also doesn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> I don't think. She was talking to some random <laughs> yeah. girl earlier. You aren't with her? No, I've never thought about that. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, she's the Misha. You're right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I'm just like, oh. You have She haven't. is a girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, you're right. No, or rather, how should I put it? Sky. I mean, my confession was already a thing of the past. After the five-year gap when we weren't able to see each other. Right. This year we've been hanging out as much as we used to. My feelings toward Igea haven't changed that much from before. They haven't. Huh. <gasps> we did a lot together and often found ourselves alone. We've been physically close to each other and have shared so many other experiences. A good time we kissed. But I'm sure none of that ever really <laughs> gave birth to any romantic feelings between us. Because I'm an idiot. You're an idiot. No. I haven't. I see. You stared off at the clouds for like five minutes. Hmm? Yeah, I, my, my girlfriend's the sky. I went and grabbed a hot dog. Or... <laughs> you didn't give me one? What the <laughs> fuck? So you didn't? Yeah. I see. As if responding not to me, but herself, Hitaru nodded weakly. Her profile really does look like a Gia's. Well, that's all the information I needed. Goodbye. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Let me just write this down. You really do look alike. <laughs> Me and A-chan? No, you and that dog over there. Yeah! <laughs> Is that so? Of course, you have your differences, but you'll see at a glance that your sister's. <laughs> I get that a lot. Hitaru's cheeks reddened a little. Uh, what's wrong? You were staring at me. It's embarrassing. Well, a bunch of your hair is, like, out of your, your beads. You should probably fix that. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Apologize! I just did. Huh? Pat my head like you used to. <laughs> God damn it, stop it! <laughs> sure. Without any resistance, I put my hand on her head. Oh, God. Here comes, here comes... Oh, here comes the pants again. Yeah, or here comes uh, Katori rolling up. Mm -hmm. I gently patted her. Hitaru stood there absentmindedly with her eyes closed. Gonna be a good girl. My finger <laughs> entwined with her hair. It was soft and slender. Completely different from my own thick, rough hair. Yeah, muscular. Is it okay like this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hitaru nodded her head in satisfaction. Hitaru's facial expression softened somewhat after that. We arrived at our destination. It was a specialized shop that deals with materials for business use. Tools and supplies can be purchased here at prices lower than your average hardware store. <laughs> we always get a free onion. <laughs> Yeah, I thought Kotori was going to come up and ara 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 again. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, she's the one, they, the whole thing with praise and all that. Anshan uh, told me that the parts needed for the glider could be purchased from here. Why is it so dark in here? Fuck, who put me in this box? Wow. A supply shop like wow. this must have been something new to talk <laughs> She let out an unusually loud voice and looked around restlessly. Let's see, we need wire, oil, and five paintbrushes. And a shovel... And some lawn darts and some lye. <laughs> After burying and this big bag of overpriced pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> For later. After buying everything on Agia's list, we left the store. Carrying all that, we headed to the secret base. Oh, fuck. Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> you say. <laughs> I looked around the surroundings. It's usually what you do. Especially at the school across the lake. Even if someone was looking at us with binoculars, I'm sure we we'd see the sun being reflected off the lenses. Okay, no one's looking at us. What about those people over there with binoculars? Time to kiss. What are you doing? I'm being cautious. We'd be in trouble if tapioca found us. Oh, I see. I'll look around too. She strained her eyes and began looking around restlessly. Nah, it's fine. I patted her head. Mm. Oh, God. Her groan was so cute I had to stroke her some more. Jeez, oh, Alni, you pervert. What? Well, you wanted... Don't give me some weird reputation. <laughs> well, you are touching her a lot. Treating me like some kind of gorilla on a bicycle. We got the supplies. <laughs> oh, fuck. I terrified myself again. <laughs> Good work. Uh, Agia hasn't come? No, we're still waiting for her to come. God. 
So rude. She said she wouldn't come for a while, didn't she? This does not bode well for my relationship with her. <laughs> now that you mention it, she did. I wonder what she's doing. It's troubling, isn't it? Without a gear here, I don't know if I have the confidence to build anything. Sounds like a fucking excuse. A little further inside, Asa and Yoru were practicing as usual, making dishes from Fripp. Oh, that's right. It's Ataro's first time in here. I should probably put take down all the nudie magazines. As she <laughs> looked around the garage, she let out a voice far louder than in the shop we visited earlier, and both her eyes and mouth were wide open from astonishment. Amazing, isn't it? This is the new Soaring Club's base of operations. It's the place that promises to let us soar through the sky once again. <laughs> Stop doing that. It's embarrassing. But it's the truth. Don't complain. But I'm good at it. You signed the banner. <laughs> That's your handprint up there. I agree with Aoi Senpai. Your speech is giving me goosebumps. I thought goosebumps was one word. <laughs> Only the novels. Am I suddenly surrounded by enemies on all sides? I'm being flanked! Personally, I, th I think it sounds great. Well, 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 well. Said the well inspector. Katori's face suddenly brightened. I have never seen Katori's face sparkle so much before. That's not true. <laughs> you understand, don't you? Yes, I think it's wonderful. All right, time to replace Agia. With this, the tables have turned. The turntables are half. Nah, it's still three versus two. No, we only count as one. It's not as one. So Hotaru isn't even a member in the first place. <laughs> Himegi Hotaru-san, the new Soaring Club is awaiting your participation. If you join now, it's President Habane Kotori. We'll pres personally teach you how to build a glider. That's me. But Kotori Senpai can only teach you about fruit. Designs were created by Amane san. Production and supply materials are Agia Senpai's part, and piloting's Aoi Senpai's job. So, I mean, we don't really need you, so uh, just uh, fuck off. <laughs> That's not very nice. How mean! Well, just get over it. You won't even stick up for me? Well, what is that supposed to mean? I see you all share a strong friendship. Yes, it's like a mirage in the scorching hot desert. An illusion. Are you okay? Sorry, um, I joined the drama club recently. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true! Meow! That's impossible! Hitaru <laughs> is an unexpectedly harsh person, isn't she? Well, she is a Gia's sister, after all. Thank you for waiting! I've arrived! Yeah! Finally! Oh! Holy The audience crap. cheers. <laughs> ah! What's that all of a sudden? No, nothing, just that your timing was perfect. My timing? Agia looked around at everyone without a shred of concern. Oh, Hattori, you're here. Oh. Thanks for the <laughs> trouble with the mission. No problem. She raised two fingers into a peace sign. That's not what that is. In Japan. <laughs> it's V for victory. Scissors! Agia made scissors out of her fingers and coiled them around Hitaru's. What? <laughs> <laughs> you guys just really like the band the Scissor Sisters, right? That's what that means? That's mm -hmm. that's what that means. Could this be a sign between sisters? Looks like some sort of promise. Or plans. As usual, I've been checking up on things. Like what? Like Aoi's actions. Oh, that's... I knew what? it. <laughs> Everybody froze in place, even Katori. Well, it's not really that big of a deal. You patted her fucking head, didn't you? You'll just I knew you making... fucking would. You're just putting the moves on my fucking <laughs> sister. <laughs> Ryokyu just told me that Aoi and Hataru are walking together. <laughs> Girls who are into that sort of gossip can't get enough of it. That means it's only a matter of time until someone close to Tabioka catches wind of this. So that's what it was about. You had me there for a minute. So, see, now you gotta say you're dating. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I though, that she may have wiretapped us or was following from behind when we were walking. That bitch lowjacked me. <laughs> As expected, it appears that we'll need to pay attention to various things in order to oppose tapioca. That's why we need to be careful with our activities for now. We aren't doing this to outwit tapioca. We're doing it in order to fly. Don't forget that. Oh, hmm. I'm quitting then, because I just fucking hate tapioca. Yeah. I'm doing this to outwit tapioca. <laughs> Katori and I looked at each other and laughed out loud. Ha 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 ha! Really? Who do you think you're talking to? Good times. 
<laughs> exactly. Do you think we were putting in all that sweat? Wait, we were putting all that sweat mowing the grass on the runway for the sake of getting back at tapioca? Jeez, you don't understand anything, Agia. You dumb bitch. Hearing that, Agia made a wide smile. Oh, well, I wasn't really worried about it. I'm merely saying it just in case. I get it. I'll stop harassing tapioca sensei. I won't. Ugh, we missed our chance. God, I had the saran wrap ready and everything. Oh, were you going to do the pee thing? That's funny. Yeah, and you, he always wears socks to the bathroom. <laughs> it looks like Agia was right to worry. <laughs> By the way, what were you doing? First of all, I asked for this. With a tada, Agia took out some kind of transparent box. I don't get It's just a cheeseburger. <laughs> it was a transparent <laughs> case about 30 centimeters in every direction. You open the box, Agia came. And inside the case... Whoa! It's just a string. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> wow! What are we looking at? It's an embarrassing photo of you at the Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> it was a white airplane. That's a glider, dumbass. No, that's wrong. It's the new glider that we're making. Or, well, a model of it. It was made with splendid craftsmanship, and it looks like it was able to fly. I'm going to throw it. I spent all of our budget on a 3D printer. Don't be mad. <laughs> I gave the model research circle some data, and they made this in return. Uh, too bad Tapioca is the uh, sponsor for that club, so he knows. Oops. Naturally, one should contact the experts in the field if they want the best result. Isn't it amazing? Even the finest details on the wings were made with great precision. I should have just went to the Warhammer kids, but whatever. I should have just had them make a bigger one. <laughs> Besides, we could fly it. Would have really saved us the trouble. <laughs> and we can test it out with this miniature wind tunnel. You have a miniature wind tunnel? That's a straw. <laughs> She, 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 she took out the desktop. <laughs> she the eye with a spit wand. <laughs> Perfect. She took out a desktop <laughs> fan and closed it a plastic tube. <laughs> with this, we can do various tests with the miniature version of our new glider. That's great, but is that okay? If you mean our plan, then of course, no one found out anything. I'm a genius and you're an idiot. Praise me on my skills in handling this matter. You better pat my fucking head too. I, I can't. My hand still smells like your sister. It what? <laughs> I, I patted her head. <laughs> the model research guys only got the data after all. Oh wait, that's her. The model research guys only got the data after all. I got this mini wind tunnel from the physics club, so our true purpose still remains a secret. If I give everyone little hints towards the truth, they'd all have to be friends to figure it out. And then when would that ever happen? It's not like we were in a sitcom or anything. That's amazing. Not the second part. That we're in a rom-com. Totally different. That's true. My personal networking skills aren't just for show. But I'm the president! Well, stop being useless. King in your coterie, senpai! You can do it! Yay! It's often the case that subordinates are more capable and have better work results than the one who is boss and name it only. And I didn't fucking ask you! I mean, it's just, and I'm not saying that's the case now, but I mean, it's... one of your subordinates did things that you didn't. <laughs> Just saying. She's, no, no, she's got a point, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no! Meow. No, we couldn't do this without you, Katori. Uh, help. <laughs> help. I'm certain that you're the one who wants to fly the most out of all of us. You made the banner. Right. <laughs> I mean, we did most of the work, but <laughs> you, uh, you watched. Those feelings are what guides us in our work. <laughs> That's right, I'm the club president, the leader! Yeah, you're like the mascot. <laughs> yeah, Katori is the president, while I'm just a regular member who does all the fucking work. That's why I've got to work hard as well. That's the spirit? Do your best, president! Huzzah, and so forth. Y yeah? Katori didn't seem completely convinced. Well, no need to overdo it. Uh, she's probably fine. But Agia, this is pretty amazing. <laughs> I picked up the model and surveyed it from the various angles. Oops, I broke it. She's obviously okay with how she's being utilized. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> She'll get over it. The more I looked at it, the more perfect it appeared. The only thing I'm nervous about is the data. I doubt we'll have much time to test the real thing after its completion. I thought we should at least do what we can. I don't want any of us to have any regrets. That's true. So we should probably make out. What? No, what? Why would we... Like okay. A, like Katori, I once again <laughs> felt overwhelmed. Agia's spirit, energy, and drive. Those feelings were what made us keep moving forward. The overwhelming determination to finish the glider! Sorry, I got, all, <laughs> I got a little anime there for a second. We all shared those same thoughts. 
I look over at Hotaru. Am I good enough for the drama club? <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Woohoo! I do a mean Mercu- Mercutio. <laughs> As if we'd lose. Last year it wasn't fully formed and we didn't reach it. That mysterious phenomenon. The passage of clouds. Morning, Morning glory. glory. The one who wanted to fly there. That was me! And everyone else. This remodeled aircraft is my dream as well. And I firmly held on to that dream the whole time since last year's failure. Hagia! <laughs> what is it? I'm Sorry. standing right fucking <laughs> yeah. next to you! I don't know. I got excited. <laughs> <laughs> I will fly! That's for sure! Are you reacting to your monologues again? <laughs> I'm going to launch you across the room. What's with that all of a sudden? That doesn't matter. I want to fly! <laughs> and to the sky, so very high, just like a dragonfly. Oh, oh, all right. You can't yeah, rhyme fly with fly. Lenny Kravitz did it. You're weird. <laughs> but your resolve is good. Let's do this. I held up my hand. Slap hands. Agia swung her arm and we exchanged a loud high five, but she oh. missed and hit me in the side of the eye. I love when we do the slap hands. <laughs> hey, don't forget, don't forget me on the slap hands too. Don't okay, cre- medium five. Don't create such a good mood just by yourselves. I'm the president. <laughs> That's right, include us too. Group hug. Leaving somebody out's unpleasant. And I don't, and I mean, I don't want to be part of it, but if my sister's part of it, it still counts. And no. <laughs> I'm not a club member though, so I don't even know I'm here. Well then, our advising teacher, go ahead. Oh, you are here. Oh, you're here. Sure. I was just over here eating. Whoa! She's here? I haven't even stared at her yet. <laughs> You're all so motivated. Now I am. Yeah! Combining your feelings and continuing to go straight towards the goal. Yeah, that's great. In the meantime, let me know if there's anything I can do. I'll help as much as I can. But, well, the interference issue is still unresolved. I can deal with the windmill's rotation cycle, but as for the oscillations, th- those alone can make the calculations. Mm, uh, 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 uh. What? As usual, I can't say if she's motivated or not. Her enthusiasm faded away in an instant. In its place, the temperature returned to normal, and we felt high humidity that was typical before midsummer. Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Nothing. Everyone, Agia included, felt the mood had been killed and the meeting ended naturally. All right, back to work there, Buzz Killington. <laughs> How was it, Hataru? Fucking my sister, I mean, because you obviously did. <laughs> the date? Great. Oh, wait, you're Hatari. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, you whatever. I'm what? confused. I'm just angry. What? What do you mean? I didn't fuck your sister. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to? Why did you even say that? <laughs> you're Dave <dating Howie. laughs> uh, Day, I mean. Hey. I didn't, I didn't think Howie has the guts, but if he does something strange, tell me instead of just crying yourself to sleep. I know it's small, but he kind of is okay at it. <laughs> what do you what do you think of me? Tell me immediately if he bullies you. I'll give him a taste of a third degree running drop kick. I mean three degrees isn't that far off the ground. The heck is that? A few few few. Don't think I'm the same as I was back then. It's the more advanced technique of the Cobra Twist. <laughs> what about the older gear? Delicious. That's a good question, so I'll answer. Long ago... Oh, fuck! This town was <laughs> kneeling in terror before a huge monster, a Gihadon! Its height was 158 centimeters, and its weight a secret. It was beautiful and had a great figure. It bit into Aoi's head and... Uh, it ate him? It ate him, didn't it? Yes, it ate him. That's pretty and decent. It rolled him in its mouth, licked and sucked on him, oh. and gulped the delicious thing down at the end. Oh my god! Like a l- delicious tub of hagen Owie, licking and sucking and gulping down? We are not being subtle here at all. Now that's really indecent. Stop it already, Owie! It's my fault? That's right! It's your fault, Lecher! It, my, my name's Owie. <laughs> Aoni, you pervert. What the fu- How did it come to this? What were you talking about again? Hey! I don't know, I was talking about normal things and then you guys were perverted. (laughs) Aoni is a pervert. Aoni is a pervert. Aoni is a pervert. Could you, like, not tell people that? 
Not cool. Give me a break already. <laughs> Hataru, you should tell the truth. You shouldn't tell the truth too much. Okay. Ugh, I become a human sandbag again. Thank you too, Ellie. Today's anti tapioca camouflage tactics were a huge success. A little too good. Camouflage, you say? I could feel Hataru's gaze on me. <clears throat> Feeling the indifference in Agia's voice, I continued walking. Agia's strategy isn't wrong, I know that, but I can't help but feel a little depressed. Yeah, she doesn't even actually like me. I want to be dating her for real. Yeah, her sister, I mean. <laughs> Extend the little wings, which fly in the sky highly. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I worked on that all week. <clears throat> hmm? It's an email. What is this strange thing next to my bed? This thing claims I have mail. What do they want? Amazing. This early. It's from Agia? <gasps> Let's meet at the secret base. Wait, at this hour? Oh, boy. Why am I checking my email? Wait, why am I on my computer? It's just starting to get <laughs> light outside. Well, sports clubs would start practice around this time, so it's not that weird, I guess. Back when I was cycling, I did the same thing. That's why my back's so huge. <laughs> Running away from that gorilla and yeah. all. I had a big back and he had a silver back. <laughs> After making everyone's <laughs> breakfast and setting the table, I was getting ready to leave. Morning, <laughs> huh? Are you leaving already? Yeah, I'm going to drop by the dock. After telling the same thing to the half-asleep Kazato sisters who came down, I quickly went outside. I'm so sleepy. Me too, because of you. I put on the wrong hair accessories, so now we got to pretend to be each other for the rest of the day. Well, we're already the same person, so it's fine. Since it was in the opposite <laughs> direction of the school, I had to hurry. Ha, 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 ha. Jeez, first thing in the morning, I'm already being worked hard. This is bullshit. I quit. Didn't even get breakfast. <sighs> I wonder why, but unconsciously, I started running seriously. And then I puked all over in this bush. <laughs> Boot and rally. Hello, Agia, are you here? A voice echoed in the huge room. Doesn't look like she's here. Uh-oh. I gently opened the door. No! I knew you were going to do that! <laughs> Ugh. There were indications that someone was here. It smelled like bitch in here. It seems like Agia was here up until just now. <laughs> Parts that looked like they were half-assembled were lying on top of the work desk. It was really a remarkable craftsmanship. I'm not that handy, and Katori is still developing her skills, so this was on a completely different level than what we could do. That girl, she came here so early. You usually have to wait for her to yeah, come. Here she comes quick. Huh? There was a note left behind. <gasps> to Owie, I updated the work schedule. I'm counting on you for the secret mission today as well. With Agia's usual mark. Secret mission? Mm-hmm. Hmm. She couldn't have put this in the email, the I butterfly guess. Butterfly effect. <laughs> Call me Ashton. <laughs> Spending more time with Hataru to lessen Tapioca's suspicions, huh? Mm-hmm. That's how it starts. Right? Is she, like, trying to push you on her sister to push you away because she has the feelings? Yeah, she's a tsundere. <laughs> I don't think that's the wrong <laughs> course of action. Tapioca did make a weird face, after all. It's just his face. But I wonder why it feels like I'm forgetting something. Oh, shit, I left Katori at home. <laughs> yes. And it's from here. Yeah, this is bad. Why couldn't she have texted you that message? Yeah, she emailed you yeah. to come read a message? <laughs> I looked at my watch and saw You gotta walk back home. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> She's probably watching from the bushes. Oh, God. What? The, I should have rode my bike. It's really far. At this rate, I'll be late. If I run as fast as I can, can I make it? It'll be fine, right? Why is there toast in my mouth all of a sudden? <laughs> Why does this always happen every time a Japanese person runs? <laughs> uh, uh, it's really hard to breathe through bread. Somehow I made it in time, through, though just barely. Looks like I didn't harm my leg either. My reward for that? Sweating like a waterfall. That's great. Time for classes. Yeah, feel bad for whoever has to sit next to me. <sighs> I headed to the water fountain and washed my face. There wasn't much I could do about my drenched body, though. Looks like you made it! Whoa! Oh What's up God. with... Oh. Why are you the same person as me? Because I did that in my head. <laughs> What's up with all that sweat? You smell like a fucking gorilla. Oh, God, it's happening! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I misread the time. On top of that, the distance. With all the sweat, you'd think I just came from morning practice with one of the sport clubs. 
you know, them sport balls. Well, them sport ball club. I got down in my seat and caught my breath. Ugh. Uh, uh, where's Agia? She came here a while ago, but then she went out and hasn't come back yet. The teacher's coming, you know, and, and there he is. The teacher came, but Agia's seat was still empty. She didn't show up during attendance either. Mm. Agia. 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 <laughs> I think she's sick. But her bag was there, so she definitely came to school. Hey, Minase, what happened with Himegi? Why the fuck would I know? No idea. Why are you asking me? Well, you know. Really now? <laughs> and who else is there to ask? What's up with all of them? But I really don't know. Huh? Suddenly I heard something. Footsteps, and they were getting closer. Oh, God. <gasps> Oh, looks like she's coming. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, Lottie. She's coming. <laughs> Footsteps approached us shortly. <laughs> sorry I'm late. Well, technically I was here earlier, but sorry for being late to homeroom. Agia came flying into the crass room. Crass room with my toast. Good. She made it at the last moment. <laughs> okay. Huh? The teacher was strangely dumbfounded. What's up with him? Hmm? Agia was also puzzled. A weird atmosphere filled the classroom. Uh, I'm sorry for being late. Yeah, I got that. So sit down. What's going on? Why does everyone have a blank look on their faces? Oh no, I forgot to wear underwear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> what is? Nothing! What, is what did- was there something about her model that we missed? That drawing? Was she different? No. With the skirt shorter? I'm confused. Katori turned away with an annoyed expression. Hey, what's going on, Abby? I don't fucking know. Well, I don't really get it myself. Where were you, anyway? I'll tell you about it later. It was pretty hot. I'm you know in... that girl I was talking to? <laughs> I'm in 20 classrooms at once. <laughs> Class was about to begin, so we left the conversation at that. I'm like Dr. Manhattan. I was gonna... I'm doing that thing that Hermione does. Oh, yeah, you went Harry Potter, I went Watchmen. <laughs> That too. In the end, neither Katori nor our <laughs> other classmates told me what the weird atmosphere was about. What was it about? I don't know. Was it a ghost? Did I say something strange? Johnny. Who knows? Well, it looks like your love life's going smoothly. What the heck is that about? Is Shut up, you lucky bastard with the real life. Just drop dead. What? Okay. All those bastards were grinning suspiciously. Everyone thinks you're with Hataru. Hey... Hey, Katori? They don't think you're with Agia, even though you're with her all the time. Right, yeah. I've got training yeah, after this. but we this. walked together. That's true. Me and Agia have never done that. So I'll take my leave. What the heck is this all about? I don't, what, does she have a sign on her back that says, I heart Owie? <laughs> I don't get it at all. Agia and I were both puzzled, and in the end, it didn't really matter, but we never figured it out. I've got to change my clothes, so I'll be going ahead. I forgot to put on underwear this morning. Sure. Wait, <laughs> what? Irritated by all those grinning people, I headed to the corridor. Oh no, I'm running up a ramp. Don't look. <laughs> Oops, I tripped. <laughs> oh, I dropped my pen. Whoa. Oh, damn it, she's here. He's never going to look. Oh, how he can. Why are you... Uh, oh, never, never mind. Because it's Crispito Day. I'm, <laughs> right? I'm a teacher now, you know. God, I wish I was in that class. That's right. You just surprised me because you're wearing the same thing always. <laughs> I'm a teacher now. Y you know? Y yeah, you said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Amine Sensei. Sen Sensei. When I called her like that, she smiled happily. Mm. Huh, but Senpai. Yes, I'm a teacher now. <laughs> <laughs> sensei. Did I exhaust all of your NPC dialogue? <laughs> <laughs> Sensei, weren't you supposed to start your lectures only after the summer break? Yeah, I just got a good idea. Come to the school and get free lunch. Are you preparing for them? <laughs> no, I don't really need to prepare anything for now. Then why are you here? Well, um... Could it be... No, it couldn't be that. Since I became an advisor, I wanted to get a taste of what it feels like to be a teacher. I'm gonna go smoke in the teacher's lounge. <laughs> My silliest prediction was right on the spot. In any case, it's the first time for me. It's necessary to run test trials, experiment, per experiment, 
perform endurance tests and dry runs, isn't it? Uh, what are we talking about here? To become a teacher? Anatomy. Yeah, as we both know, I'm really bad at teaching others. Oh, so she's aware of this. But I have to do more than just taking up the position. Well, I mean... <laughs> I've simulated it countless times, but unless I try it for real, I won't truly know what it's like. Uh, I mean, what? I've got time. What's going on here again? <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't have anything going on. Oh, so you decided to loiter around school for a while and get used to being treated like a teacher, huh? Yeah, but guys just keep hitting on me. I don't get it. That's what they do to teachers. That's I mean, right. The younger ones. You really are sharp, Owie Coon. I mean, my English teacher. God damn. <laughs> it's just that the most miserable reason I could think of proved to be true. Uh, I'll quit be the quit. I'll quit doing the advisor thing. You know. Okay. I'll, I'll just straight quit it. That doesn't affect me at all. Oh, oh wait, our advisor. Yeah. I thought you meant teacher. Yeah. No, please. I am very sorry. What I just said was wrong, and you are smart and the coolest, and your boobas are great. Yes, good boy. Uh, don't. Okay, well, hang on a second. I gotta <laughs> adjust. Hang on. Oh, oh I, my wool pants! <laughs> <laughs> Not again. When I was talking with her like this, I felt the gazes of other students. That dude is a fucking pimp. <laughs> Guys and girls passing by were looking at us. Well, how many senpais famous around here, after all? Except for the new students admitted this year, all of us could recognize Senpai in her school uniform. And if they knew what she was becoming a knew that she was becoming a lecturer now, it's only natural she would attract attention. Ah, oh, that's right. Amine lightly clapped her hands together. It was hard to tell if she was aware of the surrounding looks. I got a really bad feeling about this. I should have stayed home today. <gasps> Whoa! Unlike her personality, her face was really well shaped, and suddenly it drew close to mine. Look at that shape. Mm. <laughs> Owie Coon, I have a few things to discuss with you. Uh, y y yeah? Close. You're close, Senpai. Really close. Didn't didn't she notice this with our foreheads almost sticking together? Her bo her boobas are they're, they're touching my chesticles. They're booba they're booba in what? me. What? Then her glossy lips move slowly right in front of me. Let's get along well. Okay. <laughs> what? A huge question mark had to be floating above my head right now. Here, let me grab that for you. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do, so it'd be great if you could help me with that. Uh, you just get close your eyes and purse your lips. <laughs> Her hand moved and touched the area around my elbow. Whoa. Oh, my special place! Oh, God. <laughs> my erogenous zones. <laughs> <laughs> Does getting along mean something like this? Uh, no, it's like... Hmm. Um... Senpai stayed glued to me and started pondering. We were standing along the wall in the middle of the hallway where we weren't even a little inconspicuous. What would other people think when they see us like this? Holy shit, that's hot! <laughs> Agia said that we needed to deceive Tapioca Sensei, right? A sweet aroma was tickling my nostrils. Why do I feel like I'm losing some of my composure to the smell? Probably because you're losing some of your composure to the smell. <laughs> yeah, probably. So I thought that maybe I should get along with you as well. Did you smell her hair? Most of women's pheromones <laughs> come out of the top of their head. <laughs> I'm an advisor in, in the soaring club, so it's not like I'm reluctant to help, but I don't know how I should do that. Doing it like Hataru would be fine. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Her hand moved from my elbow down towards my hand, brushed against my wrist. Then her fingers slowly entwined with mine. It's happening. We did get her route. <laughs> hey! I was trying not to be impolite, but I panicked in the end and quickly pulled my hand back. I will regret that for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong that you hold hands to show that you're getting along well? No, no, that's not incorrect, but... Wait, maybe in her head getting along means holding hands and walking together? I don't want you to get fired. That, that's, that's possible. If it's her, it's possible to a frightening degree. Then let's do it. Uh, we we haven't even held hands yet. <laughs> Wait a second. You see, when it comes to masking the Soaring Club's activities, I should probably stop talking about it out loud in the school hallway. Yeah. The two of us pretending to be getting along is meaningless. Mm hmm. Oh, she's thinking about it. <gasps> oh. She's vigorously struck a fist into her palm. So I should beat your ass. Now that I think about it, you're right. Since I'm also a part of the Soaring Club, you have quite the sharp mind, Aoi-kun. Well, 
before I responded to her, I was overcome by a wave of fatigue. I see. Boners are hard work, so we shouldn't get along. I get it. Then let's not get along. I hate you. I don't have any more business with you. Go away. I hate guys like you. You womanizer. He touched me inappropriately. Dude, shut up! <laughs> Why does this keep happening? <laughs> I wonder what's going on inside her head. I asked myself that question from the bottom of my heart. What is happening? Are they like... They're, just, they're like trying to throw you off by like she's da you're dating one of their, them? It's just, yeah, it's tempting you with all the girls before it gets to... Yeah, I don't know. It's it's just making you look like an anime protagonist in yeah. front of all your classmates. Oh, looks like Amine-chan's boyfriend showed up. <laughs> so this time it's Amine said bye, you cheating bastard. Go die. What, I'm not dating you. I told you that's not it. No, but they're doing the thing where I you're know, taking where, all the girls. Yeah, all the guys are in a group behind, but yeah. they, none of them have any real drawn features, and they're all just like, oh, right. pounding the floor Performing and crying. some weird seance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why does everyone already know about that? A lover's quarrel, huh? I've tweeted about it. Even you? I'm the one who sets all this up. <laughs> yeah. I get it, I get it. If you're going for Amane Senpai, you should have made different choices, but I guess the game probably wouldn't let you at this point, so you'll have to get me first. You should attack by ringing up the topic of windmills. You don't get it at all. Why am I outside? I don't know how windmills work, so that would just make me look stupid. <laughs> Cumulonimbus. <laughs> it's followed me here. Act normal. After I gave her an earful, I got exhausted and slumped down on my desk. <laughs> What's happening? This sucks. But not really. Yeah, I'm actually, I actually love this. After school. Clubs. The... The... The anime? After school? I don't know, it's just capitalized. Hey everyone, come hither here. Come hither. <laughs> come Henson, forsooth. We headed towards the secret base, but Agia stopped us. Asa and Yaru joined Agia, Katori and me, so all members of the Soaring Club were here. Are you planning on taking us somewhere? Can we go to Wawa? Field trip! Our clubs, club room. The whole entire thing is the club room, though, because it's our club. Club room. We have a secret base. Oh, wait, we have a secret base, don't we? I mean, yes. But it's outside the school grounds, and it would be a problem if someone interfered, so I'd like to keep it a secret as much as possible. Therefore, it's better to have a club room inside the school. Whether we actually use it or not is another matter. I see. Oh, that's me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and as part of the as part of the covered operation, right? Exacto mundo. It's, it's usually Asa that speaks first. That's what. Yeah, <laughs> I was just like instantly like, oh, it's gonna be you, yeah. and she'll chime in. That said, it doesn't mean we can't we can be anywhere. My old hideouts in the robotics club room were all leaked to tapioca. Therefore, I've already talked about borrowing a room from the touring club. How many fucking clubs are you gonna involve in this? All right. Are you serious? I unintentionally raised my voice. Touring club? Yeah, they're never in their club room because they're always out doing <laughs> something. I don't know. A club with the purpose of touring, riding around. With, wait, touring, riding around with a car or motorcycle. And just like the soaring club is building the glider to fly, the touring club is researching equipment necessary to ride, namely engines. That just sounds like uh, the 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 car the the car people. The car people. What's it called? Adventurers. No. The, the class, the Votech class. What the fuck is that called? Why am I blanking on that uh, so hard? The vocational, the the guys who work on cars at school. Oh, mechanics? No, it's not called mechanics. Oh my god, the comments are, please. Oh god. I don't know what you're talking about. They're, like, in schools. It's yeah. usually in, in, in... Shop class? Yeah, I guess shop class is more woodworking. Oh, that's true. God damn it. That's going to bother me. The touring works. club is a research... What? Metalworks? <laughs> no. God damn it. Someone in the comments will tell me. Having clubs like this is a characteristic of engineering schools like ours. We can understand a lot of their club activities, and they have a spacious working area for relatively few members, so it wouldn't be a bother if we borrowed, borrowed some. Plus, if we steal one of their engines, then we don't have to fucking worry about the wind. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> just a thought, just throwing it out there, because you all love gliders so much, even though it's about getting above the clouds, which would be much easier with a fucking engine. We could just use a fucking trebuchet, I don't care. And give me a fucking trampoline, I don't give a shit. Just get your ass into the sky <laughs> so we can stop hiding. We got the touring club's agreement to share the room, sorry, I just... Why are you so pissed about this? I, you know, I, I just need to vent sometimes. And it was even approved by the student council. So, we'll pretend to be using one of their PCs to put some data about gliders that we don't mind anyone seeing. We'll also leave some textbooks on aviation and our dyna dynamics there. I feel like we're spending more energy hiding the club than we are actually doing things for the club. Yeah. And done! The Soaring Club's new room, shared with the Touring Club, is ready! Oh, I don't get it. Amazing. After school, before going to the secret base, we should try to drop by this new club room as often as possible and kiss a little. <laughs> kiss a little? It's possible to go outside from there, so I've already placed shoes there. <laughs> so this is why you've been so busy lately. Is that why you're all out of breath? <laughs> no, I spent half the time running to the other room to get this cool detective hat. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> that really went to her head. What a triumphant expression she has. Not bad, but if you told me about it, since I'm the president, I would have helped as well, because I'm the president. Katori's expression was filled with admiration as she said this. Agi's lips, lips stiffened for some reason. Yeah. Well, when it comes to asking for help after this, huh? Agi suddenly started beating around the bush. To be honest, it's not definite just yet. We've already gotten the approval from the student council, but as for the touring club, they have a few conditions. You have to date one of them. We have to be topless the whole time. Topless? Conditions? For that, I'll need everyone's cooperation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Us? What should we do? I guess I'll pop this shirt off. Oh my god, your back is so fucking big. <laughs> Stop! My sister was right. Uh, well... Oh, um, Tim! Yeah. What is it? Just spit it out already. God. All right, Katori. Smile. Girls what? are prettier when they smile. And but what? Huh? <laughs> Try smiling. This isn't fun. <laughs> so I can't just smile like that. Asa, Yaru, what about you? Oh, I love to smile. See, look, me. <laughs> I'm adorable. I agree with Habani Senpai. I can't smile without knowing the reason. Just look at me. It actually like hurts. But just look at me. Don't say it like that. Pretend it's like a part-time job where you have to greet the customers. This is the face I would make if I was greeting customers. Yeah, this is, I mean, I, this is the, this is just my face. <laughs> she just does all the smiling. Hehe, <laughs> look at me. Look at that. That's what my smile would look like if I did it. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> I've never had a part-time job before. Sounds like it sucks. Oh, I feel so bad for you. <laughs> There's never a reason, there's never been a reason for me to force a smile, either. I don't, I don't take pictures. Oh, so it's come to this. Anyway, everything in life is an experience. Alright, show me some smiles! Click! Did you just say click? <laughs> yes, it helps. <laughs> Agia whipped out her cell phone. Alright, come on, Katori-chan, look over here and show us a smile! A cute, really nice smile! Smile for the baddie! No! Oh, what a cold gaze. I was going for cool, Alul. Please, everyone <laughs> smile is necessary! <laughs> cool Alul doesn't exist in this anymore! <laughs> what do you mean? Um, uh, basically it's... They want us to send nudes? Uh, I think I've got it. <laughs> everyone looked over at me. Whoa. The Touring Club is essentially a research club for cars and bikes. They're doing all sorts of things, like engine maintenance or producing various components with skills that put even professionals to shame. This club is a pride of our school. So they want a picture of girls smiling. Yeah, it means they never get laid. Because they are engineering students. I'm sorry, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> the employment... I'll put money in the jar. The employment rate is 120%, meaning that they have job offers lined up years before they graduate. But when it comes to the members possessing such high skill... Even though our school is one of the best in the subject, it consists of almost all guys. I'm an engineering class? Crazy. That's right. <laughs> I'm shook. <laughs> school has a high ratio of female students. They all just hang out with me all the time. <laughs> yeah, damn. What a curse. Very few of them are interested in these kinds of things. They only like Barbies and dresses. Oil, gas, tools, metallurgy. 
Heavy weights and physical strength? That's what maintenance of machines is all about. Guy stuff. Yeah. Fucking. Total bro club in there. Yeah. Miller Lite. Football. <laughs> uh, My Little Pony or wait, something. Wait. I don't know. They Have perform you seen the sixth season? Oh, my God. <laughs> There's six seasons? They perform maintenance <laughs> on the teacher's cars for free as part of their club activities. And with their abundance of knowledge, they can offer useful advice to teachers looking for new cars. And there's a hot teacher, so... They're well-known among the city's mechanics and are best at negotiating discounts with car dealers. So they're an unrivaled, almost divine existence. Exitance. Exitance. Wow. In our school. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know that word. But they still have one problem. I clenched my fist. Ugh. They don't know how to talk to girls. A lack of female club members. So, so yeah, you. that's right. They all stink like oil. Their fingertips are black. Uniforms riddled with oil stains and holes burned from the sparks when welling. And they got the pee pants. Their pants is always full of the pee. They got pee in their they pants. Got, they got pants. <laughs> they got pants that's been peed in. And it's not just like pre-peed pants either. It's them peeing their pants. Right. We don't have any of that pre-pee pee pee in here. No, they, they got the peeest of the pants. <laughs> The pantsliest pee that ever peed. The post pee pee pee. Yeah, I mean, it's it really smells like piss in there. To be able to respond to machine that guy failures... That himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's new. He doesn't know the rules yet. To be able to respond to machine failures at any time and place, they always carry around spanners and other tools, making heavy sounds as they stride along, and makes it really hard for them to pull down their pants, so they just piss in them. With their scruffy <laughs> traits being the embodiments of manliness, their popularity with females is naturally completely non-existent. Plus the smell of ammonia. Because girls don't like manliness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Even though it's an extremely important skill, they aren't recognized. The manliest of men. Tears spontaneously filled my eyes. If only they didn't piss their pants so much. Suddenly, I joined the club. <laughs> oh, well, that's what it is. I'd be happy if you could cooperate. Akia? Listen, it's one bukkake. Are you whoring us out? Seriously, it's just one. <laughs> You're already in the position. Just close your eyes. <laughs> I didn't know what bukkake was. I just thought it was some kind of cake. I googled it. I, I'm not going to show you. <coughs> Katori glared scornfully at Agia. It had cake in it. <laughs> what exactly do you mean by that's what it is? Well, it's just a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake. Uh, no, I mean, it's not like I sewed you all out, you know. It sounds like that's exactly what you did. No, I did it for free. That's a given. Yeah. I'm just telling you of the conditions to borrow the room. Explain those conditions already. Thank you. Depending on the contents, we could all turn back right this moment, or I may have to cross-dress. I'm gonna go Cloud. I'm gonna be Final Fantasy VII Cloud and get picked by Dawn. They want us to show up every day, even if it's just for a moment. Oh my lord. To remember the club members' names and greet them. Here are our varying outfits we have to wear. <laughs> That's it? If it's just that, there's also a uh, a costume, and they need Ooh, pigtails. Costumes? Well, it's not that hard, is it? I mean, it will be, but you won't be able to see it through all the piss pants. They'll really like the twins. They wear like four different pairs of pants, because they don't take off the piss pants. They just put on clean pants, and like, that's probably fine. Like, piss isn't going to get to the next pair of pants. That's great. Sorry, I've been really stuck on this piss pants thing. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to say no, I was prepared to do all of it on my own. All of them on my own, I mean... Naturally, I told them that there's absolutely no touching allowed, and that the girls should never be alone in the room. That's a given! What What exactly did you promise them? So it has to all be threesomes. <laughs> but even then, they said it was okay and accepted pretty much any of our conditions. I mean, all I, I probably could have gotten away with just asking, because I'm a girl, and... They have no, mm -hmm. you know, they don't know what to do. One honka. That's, that's a little unexpected. Oh, I understand. Ha <laughs> ha, question mark. I don't, yeah. I, I understand. I really can understand their feelings. I used to pee my pants. As I previously went to an all-boys <laughs> school, I understand from the bottom of my heart. Even if they'd only be visiting, having girls come by every day to a room full of nothing but dirty fellows would generate low, no low amount of excitement for them. They'd probably piss their pants. <laughs> 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 their third pair for the day. <laughs> With that out of the way, club president, I'm counting on you. What if they just gotta go and just sit there? <clears throat> just like greet them and say hi and be cutesy. What? 
they're the desperate crowd boys in an anime. That's all mm. they have to do. They just have to exist near them. Oops. Now that the negotiations are done, you should go greet them and, um, up on the top button. <laughs> huh? My button! What did you just say? Well, you know, greeting, right? Greeting and what? Well, um... Agia turned her gaze upward. Just hand stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, as you would expect, a handshake between fellow club presidents. With your vagina. <laughs> you said no touching! <laughs> what? <laughs> Everyone looked at Katori, freshly prom promoted from circle leader to club president. Katori is, without exaggerating, beautiful. Has nothing to do with what's going on here. I just thought I'd say it. Oh, okay. President of the touring club is in a higher year than I, but I know what he looks like. If the word filthy manifested in human form, it'd look more or less like he does. Like, <laughs> his last name has stain in it or something. Like, <laughs> must stain or something like that. Naturally, Katori knew that as well. You can see the blood <laughs> rapidly draining from her already white skin. He's not a bad guy at all. He's enthusiastic and said he'd support our activities, and he's only pissed two pairs of pants today. Wow. <laughs> then you do it instead. I was told it was good manners to do it between fellow presidents, so there's nothing I can do about it. I would if I could make me the fucking president. I'm already yeah. doing all the fucking work. Good, you're president now. No, I don't want to. <laughs> you're the club president from now on. I'm fine with being the leader. That's the attitude you have towards the dream. Your dream? What? Wait a second, aren't you guys forgetting about someone? Times like this, it's the Soaring Club's ace's turn, the sole male member. Me! Yeah, but Ooh. they don't want you to go in there. Leave it to me, just for now, I'll be the club president. Listen, I moisturize, my hands are soft. <laughs> uh, say, don't, don't you get it? What? That certain someone who was bragging that she's at the top of the Soaring Club this year. <laughs> There isn't anyone in the school who doesn't know who our club president is! But she was the leader, not the president. What's the fucking difference, really? If you were the other party, would you accept that explanation? Yeah, kind of. I mean, I, I shake my own hand all the time. In the first place, Katori's really popular. That's why they agreed to this. What I'm, do you mean by hand? I'm really not. So it's no good, huh? Yeah, it's no good. Plus, they wouldn't care if you went in there. Right, they don't care, even if you were the president. That's not what they're doing this for. So with that being said, we're counting on you, Katori. Don't say it with such a broad smile. I'll say it with a tiny smile. Meep, meep. <laughs> <laughs> we're counting on you, Katori. It's for the sake of our dream. Passing over the passage of clouds. This is just whoring me out. I grip the back handles of the wheelchair. I mean, you're going. There's not much you can do to stop me. <laughs> no! Remember to smile. <laughs> Kutui Senpai, smile. Learning the art of business smiles will certainly be helpful in life. See, look, she's smiling too. See, this is the most you're going to get out of me. <laughs> you're so cute. It's just the smugness. I'm only cute because I'm you. That's, what? Traitors! Why are you saying that like you're fading away? I'm just standing <laughs> yeah, here. I haven't, I haven't started moving yet. <laughs> With our hearts united, we are heading to the club room together. <laughs> After that, it all ended with the following resolution. The greeting we between kissed. the presidents went pretty well. The other party was extremely nervous and was down before even touching her hand. When she regained a bit of her composure, Katori made use of her sharp tongue for the first time in a while, and she mercilessly criticized the other party's body smell and clothing. Smart. Stupid pee pantsers. I understand that you're using smelly things and you're getting dirty, but you can't just leave it like that. We try to cover it up with piss. <laughs> try to clean up yourself. Always try to keep it in good order. If you don't do that, no one is going to like you. Crushed. When the wheelchair-bound beauty <laughs> relentlessly told them off, it seemed the, the rough touring club members awoke to something strange. Emotional damage. <laughs> Therefore, thereafter, Katori reigned over the touring club members like an absolute leader. You know what? Actually, I like this. <laughs> they just like lift her wheelchair above them. It's <laughs> like gub gub. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
a Star Wars reference. And they lived happily ever after or something like that. She's C-3PO in this reference. Yeah. With the, the Luke floating right. up above and they're all just partying. Are we at an episode? I don't, you're the one with the time. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could be. It's he, the end of a scene. That's a, yeah, okay, yeah. So I guess that's, so we've got a, a room to pretend to be in now. Right, as long as we show up and smile. And leave our shoes there. Yeah. And then walk to the other side of the lake. Right. I feel like Katori got the 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 best deal here. How far is this? I mean it's across the it's a, a part it's across a lake. Right. It's like on the other side of the lake from the school is what he said. So we can't let people know we're here. No. I mean, can't you guys just But I don't know why. I don't I don't understand why. Because it seems like it's okay for the... Maybe I forgot. Because, like, you got permission from the student council to be a club. Right. We have Amine as an you advisor. Don't have, you don't have permission to do, like, glider things, I guess? Right, because the runway is not... Yeah, you're not a... allowed to use that anymore. Uh-uh. Yeah, I guess that is. Like, tapioca doesn't have the power to stop you from being a club, but he can stop you from doing the actual activities does, i guess does he have jurisdiction over this random hanger though he's fucking, he's fucking tapioca he does whatever he wants that's true but that's it like that's that's what i don't understand because it's like you do you have to be in a club in japan do you have to be part of it's, a club it's yeah pretty much at least judging by animes it seems that way like it's very strongly advised i guess i just i don't understand what what's keeping them from just going, well, let's just do this in our off time. Like, why does it have to be a school-related thing? Right. Because it's like, oh, the school owns the glider. You fucking already stole the glider. Yeah, right. <laughs> just, you, what, is, what part of what you're doing has anything to do with the school at this point? I don't know. It just seems, I don't know, it just, just, just doesn't make any sense. Like, join the fucking Magic the Gathering Club, and then after you're done fucking playing Blue Eyes White Dragon... Just fucking go fly a glider. <laughs> Don't fucking at me. I know that that's Yu-Gi-Oh. Fucking think I'm dumb or something. You got to end the episode because I'm just going to keep talking. And they all live happily ever <laughs> after. Okay, so that, that confirms to me that you didn't at least cut me off. So that's good. Because one of these days you're going to have to just stop the fucking recording and just like cut me off. Mm -hmm.